Hi guys! So today I want to do an in-depth video of how to do freckles. I've kind of touched a little bit on how to do freckles before, uh, but I would like to show you like more in-depth how to do it and different techniques and ways of doing it. Obviously there's a million ways of doing this. Uh, I'm going to use a method that I'm that I actually normally don't use because I want to build the freckles and I want to make many freckles instead of just a few. Uh, and also I know that fake freckles is a love or hate thing. Either people love it or they really really hate it and uh, I think if it's done in the right way it can be really really nice. I try to make them look as natural as possible. Uh, I haven't really always been that lucky, but it's it's nice to experiment, so I would like to show you how. So before we get into this, I might mention that I've already done my brows and my foundation. I have not done my bronzer or anything like that, because when I'm doing freckles, I would like to build them. So I usually like to put on most of the freckles before I do any of the bronzer or the, the blush or anything like that. And then I'll go over with bronzer after and maybe if I want to like intensify some of the freckles after I'll go in and do that after the bronzer. Uh, doing it this way will make it look more natural and like you're layering it instead of like having like a full face of makeup and then the freckles over it and it looks, it doesn't look that convincing and so therefore I am doing it um, first. So just to explain a little bit what I've done first is that I've taken a clean mascara wand. You can use a spoolie or whatever. I'm just using a disposable one because I feel like these are a bit more bendy. So when I'm going to flick on the, um, the freckles, uh, it'll be a bit easier to do. Uh, and I've scraped uh, with the spoolie into a brownish warm uh, um, eyeshadow and I've kind of uh, just put that on a little piece of paper in front of me here you can put it in a pan or whatever you want uh, and then I'll be wetting the brush with the product on and then kind of flicking it on so I'm going to try and see how that goes I've tried this once it worked out quite nicely um, it's kind of hard to find the right color for it sometimes like if you want it to be darker or if you want it to be lighter depending what you want. So after I've worked the eyeshadow into the spoolie, I'll just wet it a lot with Fix Plus. And I'm not really sure how this is going to go. And then you'll want to kind of flick it onto your face. I try to flick it mostly onto the center of the face, usually where you have the most freckles. You might have to do it a couple of times for, for it to be as intense as you want it uh, and after I've done that I kind of like stipple over it a bit so it doesn't look too splattery but more freckly and I'll go in again with a bit more so to say that that didn't really go as well as I thought it would would be an understatement but I didn't really want a lot of freckles with the spoolie anyway I just wanted um, a light base so it's easier to uh, put the freckles over in between the way that I usually do it. So because this didn't really go as I wanted it to I'm going to stick to the way that I usually do and usually prefer uh, Which is using a kind of like a marker. Uh, MAC has several ones of these uh, that are usually meant for brows This is an old one. So I'm not sure if they have this anywhere anymore uh, This is more reddish, uh, but they have have several for brows now that you can use for this uh, and I guess other brands do too so what I do with this is that I just kind of dot the freckles on and then I put my dab my finger over to kind of soften them a bit after. so the important thing when doing freckles is not thinking too much about how you're placing them because if it looks too strategically placed it won't be convincing at all so just dab a bit randomly maybe more in areas where it's normal to have more freckles like over the nose and in the cheeks and then just build it up until you have as many as you want sometimes I don't want that many I'll just put on a few you decide like personally I don't care for having too many around the mouth or too far down uh, so I don't really put that many there 
but obviously you decide. I like to put some on the lid so that even if I put eyeshadow on, they will kind of shine through and it will look more believable that I actually have freckles. And I also find that this works better if you have um, light coverage on the skin instead of a lot because if you try to do freckles over very full coverage skin it's just it's not that believable because you wouldn't have freckles shining through a thick 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 foundation so you just keep building until you're happy so now i'm happy with how this is looking i'm gonna go over with some bronzer just to a warm up the face a little bit. I'll be doing that the same way as I've always have. So as I've mentioned in videos before, I have a video on how I do my base and how I do my brows. So if you want to know more about how I do that, you can check those out because I will not be doing that in every video. So one thing I would like to mention about doing freckles is that there's a lot of different ways and methods of doing this. You'll just find one that works the best for you. This one is the one I prefer. I prefer using these types of markers because when you dot them on, they're kind of see-through and so it's and they're kind of liquidy and so when you put the finger over it or dab dab a little bit uh, it's easier to kind of diffuse them and keep them soft or build them um, to your satisfaction so you'll just figure out a way that you like to do it there's a hundred million ways so yeah you just find the one that works for you so i have gone over with the cream bronzer that i normally use uh, and so now I've kind of diffused the freckles in the areas where I put on the bronzer even more uh, And so I want to go over a little bit with the pen again just to get some Showing through a bit more Now that I dab my finger over I try to be even more careful just simply because it's um, the cream and I don't want like a fingerprint into the cream. Laying it like this will make it more believable because if you were to just put everything over top it won't look that lived in if that makes sense like it won't look like it's the actual part of your skin. Maybe it doesn't really now either it's kind of difficult to make it a hundred percent Believable, but do the best you can. It still look cute because if you have some underneath the bronzer, it will look like you're a person with freckles who've put bronzer over your freckles instead of looking like you've just slathered on a bunch of freckles on top of everything else. So now that I'm happy with how this looks, I'm going to take the 168 brush by Mac and go into Andromeda in the Infinity palette to put on some blush. Because I have a lot of creams, I dab more than drag just to avoid like disrupting anything underneath. Because I haven't really set my base either. I want to keep as much glow as possible. And after that I would like to put on some highlighters. I'll put on the one that I normally use, which is Pearl by MAC. It's a cream color base. You can use whatever you like. I like to use creams together. So for the rest of the look, I actually don't think I want to wear any mascara. I'm going to see what I want to do, uh, but I would like to put on a red lip uh, and see what that looks like with this and just keep the skin and the lips in focus. So for that, I'll be using Cherry by MAC and Night Moth. Uh, I'm going to start with Cherry. Uh, I have done a video on how to do bold lips. So if you want to know more about techniques and how to do your lips, uh, please check that out. So I filled in the whole lip with cherry 
and now I'm just taking Knife Mott by MAC in just in the outer corners, kind of inspired by this flower crown. And I'm just doing the outer corners and inwards. So I've just put cherry all over and uh, night moth are in the edges and kind of mix them together by smacking my lips and also just by reapplying cherry over the edges. I haven't really used a brush or anything. If you find that easier to get the nice diffused line in between, uh, then by all means use whatever you need. So this is the look done. So I want to do something inspired, I guess, by my dress and by my um, flower crown. So I want to do something fresh and kind of summery, bohemian meets classy, something, something, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I think it's fun to not have too much on the eyes sometimes and just let the lips be in focus. Uh, obviously, I can understand if you'd like to put on mascara or something like that you can obviously do that if you would like to have a more in-depth uh, video of how to do more ombre lips uh, please let me know in the comments and i can make one um, other than that i followed the steps that i used in my lip video very closely it's just that i put a darker one in the outer edges um, yeah, all information um, will be in the description bar below everything i've used uh, my social media accounts uh, if there's anything else you would like to know, please ask. Uh, and yeah, and thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!